All right. All right, yeah. everyone. We're back. Episode two of Let's go. Return to Monkey Island. Yeah. So while you were on the bathroom, Staffy, Jake and I agreed that the thing about LeChuck is that he steals all my best ideas. Mm -hmm. yep. And mine and mine too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I never had I a good one. All my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. Hey, look out, please. Whose side are you on? But I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. Ah, oh, we can choose the others. Hmm. Safi, you pick one. The last one. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Let's warm our hands. But also stare. I could stare at this forever. But that wouldn't be much fun for you. <laughs> Who is he talking to? I want to see if there's be more. On your way to the scum bar to talk to the pirate leaders? Well, I was just about to head oh, down. Oh, okay. So it skipped the other dialogues. It was the. Mm. the you picked the correct one. one. Yes. All right. Let's go, head down go to the back. docks. What? Go into the island. Go to the island. <laughs> My business right now is down those <laughs> stairs with three pirate leaders and the fat wad of cash they're going to give me. It's yeah. all going to go according to plan. Absolutely. Yes, nothing can go wrong at this all, point on. It is the right way of doing it, basically saying, okay, you need to go that way. Ah, but I want to check out this way first to see if there is some extra stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is so nice. Re-elect... Oh. Governor Elaine Marley, when there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. <laughs> the choice is easy. Yeah, I said. <laughs> only one candidate, the choice is easy. Let's see. Re-elect Governor Carla. Carla. She's hard on softness. <laughs> Carla <was>. is... <laughs> Carla is the sword master. <laughs> Can you talk to the pelican? I can't. Pel pelican? No, I can't. <laughs> pelican? God damn it. The pelican. <laughs> Better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. He's loading his ship there. And there we have the scum bar. Huh? Some things never change. The scum bar will be here as long as there are pirates. Damn pirate wannabes. Let's go talk to the pirate leaders. Ah, the music oh, is a correct. A merry bunch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at the doormat. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Very well. <laughs> ah. Ask me about. I'm here to talk to the pirate yeah. leaders about a new expedition. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's they're a helpful. It's for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. <laughs> In the back of the scum bar is. Kitchen, a giant kitchen. Oh, yeah, a kitchen, yeah. Well, get that your pen correct. out, Jake. That was correct. Huh? Okay, so apparently quiz stuff. Uh-huh. Nice. There's a pirate there. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Okay, I think they're in the back. Ah, I see. In the back. But can you ever really know? <laughs> there they are. Oh, listen to the music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And it is the music from the scum bar in the original game. Just in a Just, uh, metal, metal version. Yeah. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? <clears throat> this is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Okay. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still <laughs> relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. 
<laughs> I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Didn't nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. You I should talk to. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? Okay. Uh, Jacob. I'm Guybrush Freebook. Yeah. Mighty pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Just a humble pirate, unworthy to be in your august presence. <laughs> I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wasteful man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing. Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent. It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? <laughs> Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. <laughs> He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly a raid. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. it's, it's a, a raid. raid. <laughs> 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 I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> okay, Staffy, pick one. Uh, middle. All right. Exactly. Exactly. Fine. <laughs> well, don't keep us in suspense. What's the target? Well, I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. Okay. Incalculable monetary value. Incredible cultural value. Mystery for the ages that must be solved. Oh, it's a personal passion of mine. I really want to find it. Jake. Last one. Last one. <laughs> it's a personal passion of mine. I really want to find it. Your weird fetishes are not something I need to hear about. <laughs> <laughs> they like that. <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Okay, consider advancing me some funds, make it worth your while while helping hire a crew, or could you at least point me towards an available ship? Yeah. So money, crew, and ship. And by the way, in Monkey Island, a ship crew is three plus a captain. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. four in total. So um, let's start with the funds. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. <laughs> All right then. Yeah, hire a crew. Make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something. No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> mm. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great, problem solved. Excellent, you'll do it. <laughs> no, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye bye. I well, see. The problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a second to think about it. Laughs out loud. <laughs> All the close up of the faces. What is so funny? I need you or your money. <laughs> She's been sitting there the whole time. This on my own. That is. Uh, buy a ship. I'll that is one. poor thought indeed. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island, no matter what it takes. Mm, I like the old pirate leaders better. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, the okay. old pirate leaders. Okay, I have. They were these three um, older men that sent us out for the quest for mastering the sword fighting, mastering treasure hunting, and mastering the art of theft, which was okay. with the the poodles. We have some stuff, by the way. Thank goodness I brought my trusty horse armor. A lot of scrapes over the years. What? Why? Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> Must be so heavy, and there's no horses. The pen is mightier than the sword. I've got a few coins for incidentals. All right. Okay. The trivia book. 
with lots of pages. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna wow. be a lot of fun. Uh, all right, and then there is the to-do list. So it's talk to pirate leaders. Use Wats of Cast to outfill expedition crossed out. <laughs> Get or find the ship and find the secret of Mangana and relive can the you, glory days. <laughs> can you mouse over the exclamation marks in the to-do list? Yes. No. Ah, oh, they're the, when they're new. That's what you get a little icon there. Ah, all right. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Are the the items? Are the inventory has the same thing? Let's mm -hmm. go to the the town. Can can you go talk to the truck? Or was, like we weren't able to go to the. Oh yeah, he's our buddy. There we go. <laughs> the job openings. <laughs> Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck. The most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Eight employer seas? <laughs> Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. I'm gonna start greeting people like that. <laughs> Even humans are It looks like someone without that many options. <laughs> Look at the guy running around with fire in his head. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice, but a nice, uh, nice detail if sort of like uh, some of the crates caught fire and you see him sort of running over with a, with yeah. a blanket or something. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a guy that has low on options. <laughs> okay. So, Steffi, do you love to be a swabby or do you got something yeah, more senior? Or oh, no thanks, I'm getting my own expedition. Well, the kid, your own son, said early in the game, no one wants to be a swabby. That's so yeah. low. <laughs> Have you got anything more senior, I think? Yeah. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? What? There wasn't many of the letters in Boatswain pronounced. <laughs> Boswan. Boswan. What is that even? So it's, isn't that's a good uh, good question, isn't it? Of being in charge of the uh, lifeboats. <laughs> it's good. Uh, it's good free wheeling it, huh? <laughs> uh, when, when, He's when, the when guy you... in uh, Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. The guy that takes pride in cleaving flesh off with his whip. On the. Is that the boatsman? That's the boatsman. Okay. But I I, I don't know what what. Okay. What the uh, Okay, but while you look that up... Warrant officer or petty officer in charge of a ship's rigging, anchors, cable, and deck crew. So ah, and we know a lot about anchors, so... We know, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go boats, wait, boats, 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 wait. Make a drink, bosun. Exactly bosun. what Boat, I mean, bosun. have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and she okay, goes quiet. Don't waste my time, okay? Oh. Okay, not, 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 not bosun. Second mate. Number. Second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated. I thought so. <laughs> I can be the. We, we can be the surgeon, right? How about ship surgeon. Sure. I assume you have oh some God. kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. <laughs> I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. <laughs> you look a little scrawny. What are you bench? Bench? No problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. Why did you sit on a bench for 12 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Telling a story to his uh, child. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. It's inception y. <laughs> Swabby. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. You've got a mop, the job is. Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's wait a name, minute. Sailor? John Smith, John Smith, Andrew LeChuck, <laughs> nephew. No relation. No, 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 no relation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jake, yeah. which one? Uh, no relation. No relation. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew LeChuck, no relation. No relation. What a coincidence. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. What? In fact, Andrew LeChuck. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew, 
Here was a ship and a crew, ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. <laughs> <laughs> Life's big obstacles. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, okay. Just save the game, yeah. Cool. Can you go any further to the left? Uh, Look at the name of the boat on the right there. Breakwood. I shouldn't even Le be ship. talking to you. <laughs> Le ship. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this. I'm not Guybrush Streepwood. I just look like him. You'd be amazed how often people confuse us. Sometimes I impersonate him at parties, just for fun. We've never even met, and I doubt I'd like him if we did. Even if any of that were true, it wouldn't matter. The Chuck you don't would have take a mop. one look at you no. and go nuts. Just looking like Guybrush Threepwood is enough that I can't give you the job. Sorry. I love the fact that there is just this backlist. Chuck makes this drawing of Guybrush saying, This guy, <laughs> no. <laughs> sitting in his hey. office. Just yeah. fucking up. <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> Are you sure I can't convince you that I'm not Guybrush Threepwood? Just looking like Guybrush Threepwood is enough that I can't give you the job. I like so, one of the options. Nope. Look, <laughs> we click it again. Yeah. Click. Hey, what is it? <laughs> the one that is. Just the second one. Come on. Come on. Let me have. have. Yeah. Come on. Let me have the swabby job. If you were anybody else and you had a mop, I'd hire you. But you're you, so I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, we need a haircut on a mop. Yes. And Grok. Uh, Grok. This is one of those party cruises. <laughs> oh, the trivia cut! Oh. Let's see. The bird on Scurvy Island Beach is a Red Wing Command Line Passover. <laughs> Uh, that's that's a parrot, scarlet plum point, uh, snip bird, blue bill, thunderbird, yellow belly, lime pincher. Do you know this? Uh, I know Scurv no. Scurvy Island is from the second one. Or is Command it the line parser bird? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a little tempted to take that one. This isn't something. We, I assume this is something you would experience in disc. So we wait. We wait. That's we wait. What if we answer wrong, you... I don't know. We need to try that out. We need to try that out. I hope this isn't one of those yeah. party cruises. We need to see what happens when we, we uh, answer wrong, right? So we take the command line pass about, right? Let's try it. Uh, okay. Or, or, Jake? I have no idea. I don't know what Scurvy Island is. So any, any options? Uh, it's gone. No! Oh. How do we get it back? How do we get it back? Uh, pick it up, yeah. Oh. Can you? No! We'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna pop up somewhere else. Yeah, let's, let's, it uh, has to. Let's assume that. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays, three to four. <laughs> <laughs> What happens Tuesdays three to four? <laughs> Looks like this is going to be a long journey. So a mop and a disguise. How clever! <laughs> this ship. <laughs> <laughs> Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't oh. sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. That sounds like the same voice actor for the voodoo lady. Should we go into time? Go into town? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's 10 o'clock. Oh, hey. Guybrush. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine. Guybrush. Hoping you'll turn up in the story. How's your scurvy prevention project? <laughs> I won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. Remind me how long we've been married. That's the first <laughs> thing you say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Staffy, you pick one. Uh, I'm hoping you turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. Oh, that's so sweet. Aww. 
How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Who was Madison? Same voice actress again? Uh, good, good question. There's different voice actors, by the way, in, um, in the games. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. One of the She's leaders. the one who pushed yeah. to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. <laughs> I have to get going. You probably got to get going. That was the last one. Yay. Yeah. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. That's so sweet. Yes. <laughs> you won't yeah, that believe one. how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? Oh, trust me. That is the easy way. <laughs> okay, which one? Uh, last one. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. <laughs> <laughs> no, you say bye first. <laughs> you say bye first. <laughs> No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. <laughs> no, you say bye first. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Cuties. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I never once made it all the way to the end. That's why Lyra kept pulling down her flyers. Really? That's why the Brits are called Limeys, because they had lime on the British ships. It's back 10 in o'clock. The day. Ah, what is right. 10 o'clock? It's always 10 o'clock on Bailey Island. Oh. <laughs> That's a very interesting fact, there. Oh, yeah. Thank that you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now. It's not anchors, but if it's something. If any clock were the exception <laughs> to that rule, it would be this one. If any clock were the exception to that rule, it would be this one. That's quarter to nine. So Wally's Maps and More has opened here, and then there is a sign here, and this is the voodoo shop with mm -hmm. half-off sale going out of business. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. All right. Since we last saw each other, it's been years. I'm going in search of the secret. I'm planning to get on a ship with the Chuck. Any advice? Let's take uh, the first one. You mean, fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. <laughs> it's a gift. Allow it's me a to gift. seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent, which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my loud. Ooh. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. <laughs> When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. <laughs> a book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. True. Thanks. No charge. So there's an in-game hint book. That's actually quite smart. That's nice. Okay. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? <laughs> there is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible. What do you reckon and that is? There are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. 
that it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, you said? I do. It's Murray. <laughs> Dark magic will put some mops. <laughs> How is Elaine right now? Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? Yeah, let's see how we get some info about dark magic. How does dark yeah, magic work? Dark magic. Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Mm -hmm. I like her. Yeah, she's awesome. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be, but dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. As I always say. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. <laughs> Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going in there. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? <laughs> Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. You're not supposed mops. to sell mops. Yeah. I cannot guide you on matters of <clears throat> mops. Oh, game pop. The no? true master is the cook at the... Game paused again? Yeah. All right, we're back. We had a little little glitch, but we only missed, I guess, one line of dialogue. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. And it was something sell, about... She, she doesn't sell she mops. She doesn't sell mops. <laughs> yeah. And she uh, never gives straight answers. <laughs> there are only no... There are no answers. Only questions that are unfinished. That are unfinished, yes. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward. Like... When your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> that was it. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Mm. Okay. Uh, will I succeed? Will I succeed? Achievement depends mostly on the definition of success. Truer words were never spoken. That's <laughs> very true. <laughs> Any other, mystical, any other advice? mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Oh well, that's it. <laughs> no. It's uh, is this any a other mystical advice or information for me? No. Yeah. I'm seeing a knife down here. Yeah, this looks really sharp. Yeah, yeah. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Really I would like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. <laughs> this product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, <laughs> mumbly pig, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh-huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product Dad. is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, the keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where pirates. possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility oh my God. for the consequences of awesome. any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. <laughs> oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? 
I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability <laughs> issue. <laughs> cool. But we got it. We got, we got it. the knife. Nice. Uh, are there any um, any of those cards? Yeah. Uh, yeah Let's have a look-see. What is carved into a tree on the beach on Monkey Island? Get up. L plus E, I think. Yeah, exactly. Chuck, Chuck plus a lane, yeah. But uh, let's... Uh, let's wait. Just, yeah, let's wait. <laughs> I'm really sad that we lost that card. <laughs> it's, I really it hope we get it lost. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Somehow we have to... Beats. <laughs> beats? Next time I'm in a drum circle, this would come in handy. Oh, and look, a nice basket. <laughs> an empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. Another nice Too basket. Too bad it's empty. And what is this? What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card. Mm. Much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. It checks out. Real voodoo. No comment. It works. Trust me. Okay. And let's have a forgiveness frog. Yeah. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Yeah. So give it to the Chuck. Look, disguises. Oh, disguises. Oh. This is a neat symbol. What does it wow. mean? That used to contain magical disguises. <laughs> but alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. Ooh. I'm sure oh. the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I could restore its abilities. So the eye patch of John Laney. Hmm. It's the chef can... in the scum bar and I patch it. Yes. Can we just can check the can you check the book? Uh, the quest book? Unless you'd like it yes. wrapped in the skin of a lizard. No thanks. <laughs> no. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Let's check through quartermaster. Get a mop. Right, okay, so it doesn't it doesn't have it doesn't have everything. It's just uh yeah. oh, it's good. Ew, a little head. It's a creepy shrunken head with long stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. <laughs> it says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. <laughs> <laughs> not very practical. Not for me. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange? Aren't you glad you're here? <laughs> Someone's very excited I'm looking at this sign. <laughs> the curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. Shiny? Shine? A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that actually, that's amazing. <laughs> Keep up the good work, buddy. Musty puddle. Everything is spilled out of it in a puddle. It looks Riding. like it's been there forever. Okay, can hey, you I drag the carpet? Oh yeah. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. <laughs> I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Okay then. Mm. Mm. Look at the impressive chair. Very impressive. I've always been impressed by your chair. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. That legend is true, 
but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Mele Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. Woohoo. Yeah. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? No. No. All right. That was it. So, what do we have here? Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. Huh. They're having a half off sale. All right. There's more, um, more stuff where we made a lane on the walls. Oh, yeah. It it's a lot of sense. graffiti in this town. There is actually, yeah. Birds on the roof. The here must them. be authentic, culturally and historically accurate. The sign says so. <laughs> what kind of person everywhere. would just paint on a wall like that? This place has kind of gone downhill. Okay, Wally's is Matt and more. Yes, please. Hey, a nice Wally. Touch. Ah, there he is. Well, well, well. Look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, <laughs> blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. <laughs> all right, looking for a map. Yeah, have a map looking for a map. <laughs> have a lot of maps in here. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. All right, Jake. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna let's ask him for a mop. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. <laughs> well, I was hoping the more might be uh, out. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. You wouldn't have, have a lot have of a map to the secret yeah. of Monkey Island. Yeah, we should take Funny that. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Bought it. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> <laughs> a little cartographer humor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high stakes, ego driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. <laughs> the town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. <laughs> <laughs> he found his niche. It's great yeah. to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. <laughs> you see the guy in the, in the ship in the beginning of Monkey Island 3? Yes. Okay. And he's also the guy in uh, the first town you get into in Monkey Island 2. That's where you meet him for the first time. He's also a cartographer there. Okay. And, uh, yes. Oh, ooh, a monocle! <laughs> I love a monocle. <laughs> They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, you could, those uh, are fancy. I think you the could steal it. That was another option. To make the finest maps. Yeah, sneak a monocle. Oh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. <laughs> oh, God. please take one. 
I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Let's see a book of maps. Wally, can Browse. you have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. <laughs> this map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. <laughs> it's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. <laughs> <laughs> I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. <laughs> uh. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, rating, Cursed Black Diamond. What? Is that a reference? Uh, I think it's a skiing hill reference. Black Diamond <clears throat> is tricky. Ah, go down. Nice. A low-cost pre-owned map. The first rule oh, of affordable. piracy is never buy a used treasure map. <laughs> <laughs> a slightly suspicious ladder to a window. Hey, Wally. Like, listen. What's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. <laughs> hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. <laughs> er. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, there was yeah, two more that you didn't before. click in the beginning, I think, but uh, they don't look important. These two, yeah. Yeah. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. A long... Is that a Star Wars reference? Uh, click it again. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. Nah. Ooh, nah. Looks chilly up there. <laughs> oh, a lantern. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it makes things look bigger. Very well. Very well. Hey, Wally. It's the pirate <laughs> machine. Yes. Walk up. Walk up to yes, him. Hey, Wally. <laughs> pirate level. <laughs> just give it answer. <laughs> Okay, should we actually, uh, before we explore on, should we try to go down to the bar and see if we can find the cook? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah, go. Let's go. It didn't look like there was a door in the back room, though. No. Besides the problem statue. with this statue oh, is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Hmm. Madison. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, oh, Carla Swordmaster. for her heroic actions at Santo nah. Domingo. Oh, that's a new... Oh, the loom guy. <laughs> ah, he's there! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. <laughs> <laughs> In the old game, he only said I to whatever you said until you asked him about loom. Then he got completely chatty. <laughs> what is loom? It's a, it's a... I think the only LucasArts games that is actually older than Monkey Island. Ah, that's Loom. not true. Lo Loom no, is true. Uh, Maniac Mansion and then uh, Loom and then Monkey Island, I think it was. Something like that. Okay. It's a pretty creative game where you sort of use music. Yeah. Like you play musical notes to solve puzzles, like an adventure game with, with musical notes. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us! Hello. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. 
Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go mm -hmm. looking for it. <laughs> I ready? I'm right. ready. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about <laughs> Loom. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> why yeah, don't you exactly. take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog riddled body has fused with it. <laughs> More button than man. That is perfect. <laughs> like, oh come on, tell me about Loom for old times' sake. Beat it. Say it. Say it. No. Say it. <laughs> Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. It really sounds like Mad Mercer. Now get lost. <laughs> Hey, we got an achievement. Hey. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I guess it could be. I don't know who voice act. Try to look it up. It might be him. Yeah, I'm but look, him. There's a stupid painting. It's those three clowns at the back table. Ah, there's a stupid painting. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trivia card. What is, what is he called, the, the loom guy? He's called Cop. Cop. Oh. <laughs> A building. <laughs> Production <laughs> for Monkey Island 2 happened at Lucasfilm North ILM Skywalker Ranch or A Building. Uh, I think it was... Like they lift, they lift on Skywalker Ranch. I'm pretty sure. Do you think that's the right one? Uh, seem to remember, but it could also ILM. But ILM was also at Skywalker Ranch, wasn't it? I don't know. Should we say Skywalker Ranch? And lose it forever? I don't like. Do we lose it forever? We don't know. We don't know that. This is the game and, came out yesterday. <laughs> We're not gonna find out through playing this game, which production site was. It, it, it is true. I think I think it was Skywalker Ranch. Go. Oh! Oh. <laughs> not even a gravestone. Nothing. Not even a marker. Yeah, exactly. Gray square. But this is the chuck in the lane, right? I, I, I think it makes sense. Hey! Oh, it's so important. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, this is high stakes quiz. I mean, my yeah, my, my collector's gene can't really deal with the fact that we've lost two cards. <laughs> and, the, and the fact that it just disappears, it's just so unfair. I just know, give yeah, me another not chance. Even a note. <laughs> Pirate yeah. life. All right, we need to go talk to the cook. I like this. <laughs> Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? Oh. Okay, Staffy, this is yours. Completed uh, the, three trials. the three trials. Defeated yes. the ghost pirate the Chuck. Puzzle with the wits. I have a great sense of humor and I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. Okay, this one. I completed the yes. three trials. Trials? It's how they used to make their bones in the old days. Well... I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet <laughs> and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each <laughs> met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know. <laughs> This is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. 
<laughs> oh. So yeah, that's really, did you find out by the way if it was Matt Mercer, yeah, Jake? Uh, no, I can't really find a list where Cobb is included, so probably not. All right. Are you it's... sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's it then. <laughs> Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. All right, let's go to the kitchen. <clears throat> Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? <laughs> Jake, find good peachy or same old, same old. Same old, same old. David same Collins. Same old, same old. Oh. How's Elaine? She was always also my the new favorite one? governor. Yes. Also, okay. she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Aw. Oh. So, uh, it was not Matt Mercer. I take it. Nothing. Okay. She's good, no pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Still in public service fighting scurvy now. I screwed up our anniversary. We're apart more often than I'd like. She's here, on the island. Which one do you want? Is that about it? You have, you have this one, yeah. Uh, uh, still in public service, fighting scurvy now. Yeah. Still in public service, fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Oh, the maggots <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is. Do you know what I can buy Let's a mop? A yeah, ask about the mop. Yeah. Ask about the mop. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Hi. You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a cook. <laughs> 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 elegant tool for a more civilized... Oh, tool. it's a dumb yeah. Obi-Wan, huh? Yeah. I hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. <laughs> a single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. <laughs> Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited yeah, to the it's handles a mop. of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How exactly. do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. But remind me again? Yeah. <laughs> remind me how to find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is. All right. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. Sure, I can't the head of buy a mop. Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. <laughs> <laughs> Wildly sure varying the quality and necessity here. Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. All right, mop tree then. Okay, okay. I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Sorry, I, I need this. to see again. Be right back. I think also this is the time where uh, we uh, we end this one. So, um, yeah. yeah, let's do it.